ability, believe in my ability, something that you can't see. Welcome to Combatant Spasticity with Shelton. Today I'm taking a quick break from the exercise routines and instead I want to do a quick dive into some recent research on Dalfampardine as a treatment for spasticity and HSP. Now, as you may know, I am not a doctor or a medical provider. I am just a man who decided I was done feeling defeated from a condition known as HSP. I'm taking my life back from HSP, and my ultimate goal is to see others taking their life back as well. I value your time, so this is going to be quick and straight to the main points. Let's get started by defining HSP. HSP is a group of inherited disorders characterized by progressive stiffness and contractions in the lower limbs. Treatment options include physical therapy, surgery, and pharmaceutical therapeutics such as baclofen. Delfampardine, known commercially as Empyra, has been primarily used to improve walking in MS patients. Recent studies suggest it might also benefit those with HSP. According to research, Delfampardine increases the amplitude and duration of nerve conduction. A recent study involved 12 HSP patients taking 10 milligrams of Delfampardine twice daily for two weeks. In the results, they saw significant improvement in spasticity and walking ability. According to research, patients showed a notable reduction in spasticity, with scores on the modified ASWR scale dropping from 2.0 to 1.0, and walking speed improved by 27.8%. Importantly, no adverse effects were reported in the study. However, potential side effects of delfampardine can include dizziness, nausea, and balance issues. In conclusion, this study yields encouraging evidence that delfampardine may be a helpful option for HSP patients. However, further research involving larger samples and more comprehensive assessments may be needed to validate these results and establish the clinical benefits of this treatment approach. It would be ideal if we could find more natural options with zero side effects, but I'm open into learning more about this if it could truly help. Please don't stop here. Do your own research, and if you think this might be right for you, discuss it with your neurologist. Maybe some of you have already tried it. Feel free to leave any comments. I have seen research showing that delfampronine does not work the same for everyone, so please do your research and consult with your neurologist. By the way, the link for this research will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Let's rise above adversity, redefine disability, and inspire others with our unwavering strength. Stay strong, my friend. I truly believe that our best days are ahead of us. Let's get it, and let's go!